Guys, what's up? Back with a new vid, KTFA. So today, um, short summary, we haven't been, you know, in the videos in four weeks. I had the flu for two weeks and Alex had baseball. Anyway, my bad. We're supposed to post like two, three times a week and it just hasn't been right because of the school. Anyway, uh, it's spring break now. We're gonna post a lot of videos. We have a lot of updates with all the cars. Uh, Trackhawk, new exhaust. Of course, that's my father's, but we're still gonna do it. We actually got a lift now in the warehouse. So we're gonna be working on cars a lot ourselves. The Hellcat, still no mods at all, but I'm, I think I'm just gonna keep it stock for a little bit, but this, the car you're about to see, has gotten a lot of mods since we've been gotten the Mustang. TSW 20 inch rims with 285s all around. And I put the E-Bach Lowering Spring Sport Lines on it, and it doesn't rub. I got so lucky. We got window louvers. Uh, I don't know if they're super cheap or not, to be honest, but they're there. They rattle. I need them dipped. Uh, the screws coming loose the tapes coming loose already I need some new tape the tape is old but man these rims are insane and this thing does not rub it's so surprising I need the sway bar though because they do rub if I'm taking it like if I'm taking like a curve at 60 anyway those are some of the updates still has the same mods but we got the stickers YouTube KTFA you can't really see it until like now the sun's in the way DM me if you want one if you're a subscriber I got you, you just pay for shipping. But uh, yeah, we got them on the dashboard. Everyone, everyone, go check out, hold on. Everyone, go check out Vitch and Visuals right here. Hooked me up with the stickers easily on Instagram. Go follow his IG, it's Vitch. Dodge and Visuals, I'm not really sure, but I do follow them. I only follow two people, I follow myself and Vitchin on the KTFA account, T KTFA account, and I also shout him out there on the post. So make sure to go check out that check that out but the window louvers kind of look kind of cool and like side it makes it a little darker i had side ones they were really cheap i was just like fuck it they're in the garage right now so i just took them off put stickers i put the rouse sticker i still need to peel the other one off or the like like top of the sticker a lot of a lot of mods for this one i really wish we could have got these on camera but short story real quick um the reason why the car has new rims is because it looks cool of course but uh so I forgot my tires were bald one day. Uh, this was like a month, a month or two ago. No, it was a month. Cause yeah, we haven't posted a month. It was a month. Anyway, um, I had bald tires. And so when I had bald tires, I was driving out in the rain. I go on the highway, um, hit it from 40 to 45. I do a 180, my traction and ABS failed. My braking would not work at all. My traction wouldn't either. And I do a 180 into a side one. I walk out with a bent rim. I got so lucky. Something still fucked up with a, a rear axle, unfortunately. But um, going to Ford, probably going to get that fixed. Because it's probably under warranty. Uh, not that I wrecked, but like, you just don't say that. I got new rims. I got them replaced. And I have more rubber on the ground now. I had 255s on the... I had 255s on them. Now I have 285s. Uh, the offsets are still stock. Everything else is like stock. But the next mod I'm getting, this is strut bar for the Ebok, the same, like, that was in the kit. I'm stupid for not getting both. But the next, the mod we have in the garage for this car is awesome. Let me show y'all real quick. The GT350R spoiler, that's uh, what's going to go on the Stang over there. And the new pipes for the Trackhawk is going to be going on the Trackhawk. Uh, they're three inch instead of two and a half. The two and a half inch is stock on the Trackhawk, so it should add a lot of noise and some power. But um, Travis is soon to get here, so I'm gonna see y'all when we get there because we're gonna install the slicks on the uh, kitty and install the spoiler on the Mustang just for sake. So I'll see y'all then. Take off the Hellcat and move. Think so? Travis, what do you think? I need my keys, Jim. Travis. Out of here. Hmm. Take off the Hellcat and move? Yeah. No. Put Man. the rally, put your rally yeah, emblem on it. And switch them. Emblem on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we really couldn't do the spoiler. I thought we, it would be a lot easier, but it's not. So we're just gonna switch the tires on the kitty. But we're kind of fishing line right now. What are you about to do? Do you know? Uh, de brand my car. De badge. De badge. badge. <laughs> it is very green. Grass is very green. Yeah. So what happened to your car, Noah? Aw, poor Noah. When do you get it back? It's gonna be a while. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so are we taking so we're taking this ugly ass Roger Williams off. Right there. 
Are we taking the Dodge off? I don't know. It's your call, man. What do you think, Noah? Yep. Alright, we're taking the Dodge off. Coming off real easy. Taking off the yeah, dodge. so as you see here, we're just taking off some stuff. Hell yeah. Just doing it. Let's dodge on it. Yeah, because we got a 420. That's 420. Light it up. Shooking all nice and clean though. I did the work. Yeah, I did it. She's just taking credit. Hey, what do you want to do with the knife? Oh, right here. Watch. Give it to me. We've been working on this for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. If anything goes wrong. You're cool. Yeah. You go like that. I <laughs> go like that. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna drop it at my foot and it's not gonna hit that hub without even looking. All right. Oh, oh fuck, hold on. Oh, wow. Look how close it was. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's all. Like, turn my car on? Yeah, that <laughs> one. <laughs> Sounds nice for six. Yeah, six plus two equals eight. Straight pipe drafter. <laughs> Sounds nice. You got hit twice. That's the trunk. <laughs> He did it. All right, guys. So uh, Christian just showed up. I haven't seen Deeg. Uh, I don't know where he's at. But uh, so Christian showed up, and they're at racetrack right now by the school, and that's where I'm headed to right now. We're about to head to the. We're about to head to some burger place called Pops, I believe, and then we're gonna head our way to the track and go ahead and register and get all that shit done. And yeah, we're gonna be racing. So I'll see y'all soon. Guys, right, so we're actually. I didn't get any footage at racetrack. If I said I did, I'm really not sure, but we're on the way to uh, Pops Burger Stand right now. Apparently, that's where we were told to meet up by uh, somebody. So that's where we're going right now. We're meeting there. It's 618, and uh, track opens at 8, 618. So we may eat, we may not. We may just go from there and leave. But we're just gonna see what's up there and then yeah we're off to the track we're gonna register i'm gonna get a lot of footage of cars tonight so it's gonna be great so uh i got track or noah's driving the stang in front of me and i got christian behind me in the c7 y'all can see a little bit but oh well anyway yep i'll see y'all there uh what's the place called oh yeah bobs <laughs> we have bobs right now we got the lineup loki felt badass we got the mansfield parking stickers you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ten extra horses. Are those some clean ass cars when we were walking when we were driving by over here? Oh, wow. We should have done like some fat ass burnout. I know, huh? That white uh, lifted ram was trying to talk to you. What I know, you he see? was like he was like this and I was like I just like I just nodded my head. I was like, oh well. We are here at the race shack. I'm just behind a Shelby GT five hundred. The thing is so clean. Hold on, let me get like y'all a view of everything. My dad is over there in the track hawk. He got here before us because Hit us up at Bob's, but Bob's was a drop. I mean, we got there too late, I guess. But there was like a couple 392s, but like, I mean, it was packed, so we didn't eat. So we decided to eat here. I hope everything's open, but I see another Hellcat. So I'm hoping like to have like some competition. I've raced this one before in the Black Key, and I ran like 13 flat, which was terrible. It was on Hennessy's track down in Houston. It was terrible just due to the fact that the track was so slippery. I was on street tires too, and it was the second day I had the car. Um, the only car I've raced over here is my 392 Hemi, which I ended up getting a 12 9, so I did break 12s on the 392 Hemi on street tires, nothing special. But now I'm here with slicks. I got track mode. I've gotten uh, like used to the car. I'm on red key now. So, you know, it's. I don't think I'll spin. I'm going to drop the tire pressure to 14 PSI. I'm on 25 right now. Um, hopefully get some rubber on the ground and I'm hoping to break low 11s and I'm Luckily to get I'm not that good of a like I'm not that good yet So I don't think I'll break tens, but luckily I'm hoping to disappoint some people today. So yeah, um Me and my dad did make a bet on the Mustang um, That he said he'll give me a dollar if it breaks 13 if it breaks 12s I think it will run a 12 9. I really do. I'm actually really confident that it will run under 13 I'm uh, I'm gonna drive it to uh, Travis and Noah are also gonna run that 
No, unfortunately, doesn't have his car because he has a blown head gasket. Anyways, we're here. I'll give you some updates. We're gonna eat, and yeah, see you later. So dark out here. We have people drop, dropping the pressures, the slicks. We got a whole crew right here. This thing is clean. Two Hellcats. So much for the rest, man. 5.7, oh, yeah, 500, a Beamer, it's probably twin turbo somewhat, but track hot. We're about to go get some food and just, yeah, we're about to chill out and then wait till we race and then get that on camera and just have a great time. All right, guys, we just pulled up in the staging lanes, got something to eat, and basically what we're going to try to do is get his car and get mine and try to compare the Hellcat and the track kitty, I guess, or the Hellhawk, as some people call it um hopefully i just dropped my pressure down the 20. i don't know how the launch is going to be honestly because i've never launched it like on 20 psi on the slicks i barely even launched it on the slicks so i'm just going to see how it drives and i probably work it till sport and then work up to track but i think it'll take me i really do think it'll take me but we'll have to see one two three what'd you get one two four one two four so shout out to one of the clutch guys here we only had one helmet and he literally just gave us a helmet to borrow. So shout out to the guy with the white Charger Hellcat that has every modification you can think of. But now we don't have to switch off. And so now this like night just got a ton more lit. You're gonna get spanked. Who's getting spanked? Hey, oh, how's the tune looking, dog? If I'm driving, I'm winning. How's the tune looking? Tune? Bro, yeah. oh, it's a 93. Is that 93? Yeah, it is 93. I think so. Dude, what if we tune it to E85? Wouldn't that be funny? That would do. It would be fast. An 11-3 my first run. My first run of the day, 11-3, and that was my goal. What am I going for? 11-1, 11 flat. <laughs> first, I wasn't able to capture this, but Travis just beat 13, so my dad owes me a dollar. He got a 12-997, launching it at zero. And he had traction on it. He takes traction off. Oh, I, dude, what do you think it'll run? Um, it'll close to I think 12-7. You think it's No, 11, no, hell no. 11, not 11, fucking I think low, low 12s. I, th I think he can aim 12. I think he can aim for 12-5. Cause he didn't have any sport mode on and the sport mode is oh, a big cool. difference in the stangs yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah all right well i'm gonna give the video to him so uh he can record me racing so yeah the track hawk jump my dad jumped like a bitch but oh well that was his first time since what 1970 all right i'll see you
like really like yeah. it was in the middle that fucking mustang right there he he thought that he was cool and he let your dad go off and he did not catch your dad really yeah the black one back there damn well no they're just trying to do like they're trying to make the best like setup yeah. though sometimes i mean they could be cocky they could be not so yeah. No, but he, gave your, he gave your dad a shitload of time, and then whenever he went to launch, he fucked up and didn't even do it right. Damn. Yeah, I saw him do that. Yeah, I did. Bro, look at the track pants. The pajama pants that don't even fit my head ass. On a side note, I just switched to Sprint. Never go Sprint, guys. That shit sucks. I was at at and But unfortunately, I had to switch due to some issues. I can't go on that story on YouTube, but, you know, I just had to switch to Sprint. I couldn't switch back to at and I literally have no service anywhere, so I can't even play music in my damn car because I got a new phone, I got the iPhone 8, that's why I'm able to vlog now. If you're ever, ever going to use a phone carrier, Sprint may be the cheapest, go with at and or something else, like, it's bad. Like next race. I mean, if we can. Yeah, I like, will try. We'll try. Let's try. Let's try. All right, let's do it, bro. Hey, can we take some, some air out the back tires? Huh? Hell no, street tires. Bro, they're not gonna work. My dad, me and my dad just got lined up, so this is about to be fun. We're gonna see who actually wins. I'll take him though. He'll take me in a launch, but I think I'll take him now. I'm more confident since I ran an 11.3. The best his time was was a 12.1, and he failed on the launch control, so we'll have to see. But yeah. guys so i just raced my dad on the track clock twice once was like kind of a bloopers because we both read like we both jumped the line but just letting the car cool down for now it's actually getting hot i can't beat an 11 3. oh there's noah i can't beat an 11 oh okay it was the same color oh that was the 2018 anyway i can't beat an 11 3 my track she keeps kicking in and i have no idea why i have the stability control and i held it down for 10 seconds like the whole procedure Turn it on sport mode. I can't even do a burnout on track mode, which is stupid. But I don't know why. I best I'll research that later. Anyway, we're chilling right now. I just ran 11.8 and I really want to get an 11.3 again. And then I'm happy. I think I'm about to hop in the Stang just in the set or after Noah gets done over there. So yeah. Ultra Boost Gang. Track Gang. Oh. I like that decal on the Hellcat. What do you think? Yeah, that decal is pretty sick. But yeah. Good. No, I like the Hellcat. Who do you think is going to win? Chevy gang over here. Uh, no. The Hellcat. I've seen the red for I mean, I've seen the... Is it modified? <laughs> When you put 330, when you when you have a 335 IS, that that will whoop a Stang. Yeah. Like they have the twin turbos is it, is it a, with the straight six. It is an IS. Yes. So what was it? 1309. 1309. Yeah. Hey, yeah. all right. Go. My turn. I'm running a 12 right. 8. 12. 12 8. 9. Wait. Watch what do you think out. I'm gonna run? Watch out. Watch out. Where are they, guys? I can get them. Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. What do you think I'm gonna run? 
13. 13. I'll bet I'll run a 13 1. Alright, here's my best time right here. Uh, no, that's it? Noah. That's Noah's time. 13 that's 09. Mine. You finished a 114. That's not even bad. That's mine. 12 9 1 1. 12 9 1 1. That's what I have to beat. Yeah. That's literally what I have to beat. All right, yeah. Fuck up, All right. All right, so me and Harrison are about to race. He's in the Hellcat. I'm in the 5.0. Um, we clearly already know who's going to win. Clearly the 5.0. I mean, of course, I'm driving the 5.0. I'm kidding. It's clearly the Hellcat that's going to win. But this should be fun. It's my first day at the track, and I've really enjoyed it. I've loved it out here. It's really fun. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. I was like I told y'all I was but it was not that bad I'm pretty sure now that I just went I'm pretty sure now I have the top time the top time before was 11 was 12 9 I think I'm pretty sure I beat that I'm, I can almost guarantee you that I beat that I had a really good time I had a really good start and it was pretty fun so how was that for you bro I was spinning like oh the other up to me. I'd have let off and then like I'm just like I bet I ran like a 13. Yeah because I was wondering how the fuck I caught you. I finished at 114 I think. But yeah. I guess we'll have to see. Hold I'm up. pretty sure I got the best time on it now. I don't know. I didn't even know what a Z07 vet was till his dad had one but that is sexy. That needs to be dropped bro. Yeah it has a has a stage three winglets. Um, it has the carbon ceramic brakes. It has all around side skirt spoiler and front um, oh, front splitter yeah front splitter bro this kid carbon, literally all carbon knows fiber. everything about chevy like I mean, it's it's I was born chevy beds. like of course Corvettes. i'm riding in the mustang right now but well, and you, you know my dad was a chevy guy right yeah, he was talking yeah that. he was a chevy guy and then he moved to dodge when the hellcat came out because you know chevy didn't make a fast car then but in 2016 they really stepped up so it's too bad Right, guys it is 1106 and we are just not leaving we made some runs we got the trackhawk and hellcat to race uh raced them but i the last my last runs were spinning my first run was definitely my best like, now it's just like i don't know what's wrong with my like i think something's wrong with the track because my like slicks are not sticking weren't sticking anymore so we're about to head out actually we are right now we're gonna go to whataburger and I think it's going to wrap up the video today, but just the track, some, like the summary of the track, we had, it was a good time. It really was. Uh, that was Travis and Noah's first time going out there. And Christian ended up running a 12-6 in the Mustang. A 12 fucking 6. Like, that is fucking insane. I didn't think the thing would break 12-8. You know, I ran the car once and I got a 13.005, or 13.055. And like, I was like, all right, that's cool. Travis got a 12.991, but a 12.6 is insane. We have a video of us racing, but I got a 12.3, he got a 12.6, but I was spinning the whole way. He had me. That's the first video of spring break, and we should have some coming tomorrow, maybe Monday. I'm not sure, but thanks for watching. Remember to follow uh, KTFA Cars on Instagram. Uh, add me, Harrison B45 on Snapchat. Subscribe to KTFA Cars on YouTube. Thanks guys again, um, and follow me on the personal, harry.b45, uh, follow KTFA Cars on the IG, that's where you can get the stickers and everything, and yeah, thanks for watching guys.